Hi Ryan, my name is Megan. I am the founder of Lobo Leads Marketing and I spoke with Wendy in your office uh, this past week about doing a quick website audit to show you guys where Essential Electrical Pros is ranking currently and what your competitors are doing to claim the top spots on Google. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some website tips and just go over a few specifics on how to rank your site and how to beat your competition online. Um, so I let Wendy know as well that my contact info will be um, in the email to you, of course. And if you have any questions after hearing all this info and watching the video, feel free to either call me or email me back. I'm happy to help and I'd love to have your feedback. Um, so the three things we're gonna go over today are content, backlinks, and citations. So content is anything on the home page of your site that Google can read. So all the text on the home page, all the text within your images, like right here, this text, and then anything that your images are saved as. Um, so to be considered authority in Google's eyes, you're going to want to have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on your home page, and you're going to want it to be stuffed with content that has to do with buyer intent. So for you specifically, you'd be looking at things like electrician, Spring, Texas, or Spring, Texas electrician, and other keyword phrases that are location specific along those lines. So any um, area, other service areas that you guys um, are willing to make the trip to you can also you know add electrician and then add those locations in as keywords for you that way when anybody types those searches into google your website will pop right up so looking at your website i really like how clean and professional it is and how easy it is to navigate uh, it's obvious that you guys spent some time on this and put some effort into um you know uh, listing out all of your services and so what i would say here is um, one thing that I would want that I would recommend that you guys do um, is add testimonials on the home page. So you have all your contact info here and then a lead form, which is great. But I would say right about here, you'd want to add some testimonials in just in case, because a lot of people, you know, really like to read about other clients past experiences. So it would really help to build trust with your prospective clients. Um, another recommendation I have for you is. I see how you have some some services listed right here. Um, internal linking within a site is always really great. So let's say you have lighting installation here. Let's say somebody's looking for that. They could click on it right here and then go to the page to another service page that has lighting installation and gives a breakdown of you know what you guys do, what you offer, and just more info in general on that service um, specifically. So I see up here you have services. And then let's make a plan. That's great. And then you have everything listed out right here. What I would recommend doing um, as far as the service pages go is splitting these into individual pages. So um, where you have a non-clickable menu here already, let's say somebody goes up and highlights, you know, the services, and then there's going to be a drop down menu. And then uh, let's say all troubleshooting would be one of the menu items. So if they clicked on all troubleshooting, they'd get to an individual page that would discuss all of the things that you guys do for troubleshooting and gives them more info. Um, this helps because let's say somebody types in, you know, electrical troubleshooting spring, Texas, that then this back page, if it was an individual page, it would be a lot easier to rank and they could easily click on that and get to your site. So as far as content goes, what we recommend for service pages, if you were to split them up the way that um, I just kind of laid out, would be 500 words on each service page. And then the standard rule of thumb we tell our clients is to do one keyword phrase for every 100 to 150 words. So that would be anywhere from like three to four keywords is what we would recommend on each of the service pages um, spread organically throughout the content that you have there. And then, um, since I since I recommended testimonials on the home page, you could um, honestly get rid of this testimonials page if you wanted to, and just go ahead and add them to the home page where maybe where you would have them uh, not listed out all the way like this, but have because um, it would take up a lot of space, um, but have you know arrows where people can just click through, like a right arrow here or a left arrow here, and then they can just click through all the different reviews that you guys have because reviews are really really important. 
Um, then as far as content goes on the home page, like I mentioned before, you'll want 1500 words at least. So we use the same rule of thumb, one keyword phrase for every 100 to 150 words. So anywhere from 10 to 12 keywords spread throughout the paragraphs will get the job done. And that'll really help you guys to rank higher in the Google searches for, for the service areas that you guys want to go for. Um, so overall, very nice site. Um, I hope these tips were helpful. The second thing I wanna to talk to you about is backlinks. So Google can kind of be like a popularity contest in a way because they judge you by how many websites are pointing back at you. Now, very important to remember, not all backlinks are created equal. So what that means is you're gonna gain a lot more influence from a backlink that is related to your industry specifically. So for example, an electrician blog that mentions your company would be a good one for you, or a popular website that features various types of home services and features electrical services, that would be another good one for you. So something that has to do with the services you offer, you're gonna have much more influence given to you from that type of backlink versus a backlink from let's say your local Domino's Pizza, for example. So a tool I use to measure backlinks is called Arifs. So I went ahead and put your website in Arifs. It looks like you guys have five backlinks um, and one website pointing back at you and zero for your organic traffic tells me that you've had no website visits at all in the last 30 days. So you're missing out on a lot of potential clients that way. Now, if we look at Abacus uh, Electrical Repair Service, they're one of your top competitors in spring, uh, the spring area. Uh, they have 36 for their organic traffic. So they've had 36 website visits um, in the last 30 days. And I'm sure some of those have converted to new customers for them. So a strategy that we use to tell our clients and we tell our clients to use is to go in and get the same backlinks as they have and then continue to keep adding on more and more. So what will happen is you'll end up surpassing your competitors while gaining more and more power to your site, a lot more organic traffic and all of those new customers, of course, that comes with that organic traffic. So the last thing I wanna to talk to you about today is uh, citations. Citations are very important because if someone's looking for a service now, most likely what they'll end up doing is going onto Google and typing in what they're looking for. So let's say Electrician Spring, Texas, and then they see these top three businesses pop up in the local Google My Business map pack. And a lot of people think that these are the most reputable businesses in the area to call because they're ranked high. They have, you know, reviews, they have ratings, and uh, so they get a lot of website visits, they get a lot of calls, and a lot of customers come out of this. So the reason they're ranking at the top is not necessarily because they're the best, it's because they have the most citations. Citations are anywhere on the internet where your business name, phone number, and address are listed in places, uh, in different directories, in places like Google, um, Yelp, Facebook, you know, any of those directory services. And so what you'll want to do, if we use the same strategy here, um, so what you'll want to do is go in and list yourself in these exact same directories as your competition is listed in, and then add on a space cushion of, let's say, 20 to 30% more directories. That way, what will end up happening is you'll infiltrate this Google My Business local map pack over time, and then you'll end up passing these people up, ranking at the top, and before they even realize it, they won't be able to catch up because you'll just keep adding on more backlinks, more citations, and taking on all of that new business. So here is my website. This is my company, Loba Leads, and this is my phone number. And uh, I'd love to hear your feedback. I hope this video was very helpful and educational for you, and please let me know if you have questions. Thanks.